Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. Getting ready for part three of my AV upgrade phase two. Um, this is the final part. Um, not a whole lot to go on here. I'm going to put covers on my empty holes from taking the speakers out. I'm gonna build a nice little cubby for here. I'm gonna install the system and I'm going to program the remote and go over what I've done to control my system. When I get back, I'll show you how I make these parts work. hour or so um, making the box um, as you can see uh, it came out pretty good uh, I've got the, the glue sets in a couple of minutes but it still needs to dry for about a half an hour so you may see something some of the shiny is wet some of the shiny like over here is all dry um, this is the outside it won't be seen I will I will sand it down a little bit and file it just to just take some of these drips off because I've got to make the holes a little bigger. But all in all, um, it came out pretty good. So I will be putting this, I'll take the Dremel and uh, probably a little bit of filing in the corners and I'll take off what I need to slide this in. Um, a couple pieces of plastic left over, I'll save that for other projects. Next step is to get the round discs in, get the speakers covered up. As I show, the box is all done. I've set it on there. I've put tape on there so I could mark it up. Um, and it looks like I've got to trim it out, trim out the hole that little bit. And I picked the above and the, and the left because there's a secondary um, layer of board on both of these sides. Um, whereas this side here, I can go back farther and the same with the upper. There's a, there's a lot more of a lip up here. Um, so I'm going to take a, a small, uh, Dremel and I'm going to grind this out just right to right about where the, um, black line is. I don't want to cut the whole black line off, although I could, I'd like to keep the um, box snug. So let me go ahead and get my Dremel out and get to work. I got the box installed. Um... I dremeled it all, out, all it out, and then I, since it's, it was a little rounded on the screw where, where the this was the faceplate was glued onto the box itself, um, I also chamfered with just the sanding disc the edges of the wood. Like right here, I just I just um, angled them a little bit so it, it would sit more flush. Um, sits pretty flush. Then I put a couple of screws. I pre-drilled them. Um, so I didn't split anything, got two here and two up here. And I was originally going to go back here and put a block between the box and the base here. But um, the box came out a lot more solid than I thought. Um, it's pretty solid. Uh, it'll fit my keys, wallet. Um, I mean, you can see my whole hand fits in there all the way to the back. I could have made it a lot longer, but... Um, it's just for keys wallet. Um, since there's a plug up here, you could plug a charger in and drop your phone in here um, to charge it. Or, you know, um, dog leash, um, um, poop bag, something like that. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the um, plastic, the black plastic covers I bought to put over where the speakers go. And in order to secure them, I'm going to drill a hole right in the middle and screw it to a cross piece. Um, now I originally was gonna glue this, but um, after thinking about it, I realized I can just countersink a couple of screws in here, um, screw them in, and this thing will hold super, super solid. And then I'll just have to put a screw in the center um, where this goes up in here. Now, at this point, I'm not going to do anything this is pretty flat um, as you can see the the surface tension almost holds it up there um so 
I'm going to hit these real quick. You can see where the previous screws are. There's a little bit of a little bit of uh, blowout. So I'm just going to sand those down real quick so it's nice and flat here and screw the disc in after I screw these in. Just countersunk a couple of drywall screws, put some scrap one by two in there. Now I'm going to set the disc in place, drill pilot hole, and then put the screw plate back in. I think it came out good. Uh, I like it better than the speaker, and I'm not going to bother with uh, the screw. It looks just like this one. Um, I'm not even going to worry about it. I like the fact that it's not shiny. I don't get any um, major reflection off of it. Uh, I'm going to do the rest of them. I'll be right back. So I've got the four speaker covers on. I've got the cabinet back in place. I've got the door reinstalled that I'd taken off. Got everything powered up. I've tested everything. Everything works great. Um, I've got the remote control here. Now this is an RTI remote. That's the brand. Um, I am a audio video dealer, uh, installer by trade. So I get, I, I was able to get this at a, at a, you know, my dealer cost. Um, I'd be happy to help any of you guys out that are really serious. Um, about wanting to do something similar to this you can pretty much copy everything that I've done except for um, The remote real easily um, again happy to take care of remote the um, Help you with the, the configuration and things like that. Just reach out put a comment below uh, send me a private message whatever um, the only thing I really have left is I'm going to remove the Apple TVs I installed um, on the phase one of this AV um, project. Um, I've got one on uh, each TV, so I'm going to take those out. Um, but essentially everything's done. Any comments or questions, please put them down below. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. My AV project is complete. I couldn't be happier. This is Jeff from Mirror Stream Nerds, and I will see you on the next trip.